I mean, you know what I mean. It's like, not like that. She's not. You know, she's. But she's not. Oh, like it's like what? Like I, I always think about like what happens to all those stars. Okay, you're right. She, she still is. Yeah. But like all those stars that just came out of nowhere, won all these Grammys, and then they just like, oh, okay, cool. Well, you know, they take a break. That's a long break. Like, remember Lord, the one that sings Royals? Oh, well. She won, like, six Grammys off of that song alone. Yeah, she did. She did. I totally forgot about her. And then, and I, I adore that song. I, I loved it. it. I loved it. And then what's the other group, Fun? Are they still together? Exactly. That was with, with uh, one of the Jonas Brothers, right? No. No. Fun was, um, tonight. Oh. We are young. Remember? Yeah, I remember that. They song. won all the Grammys. Beyonce was like, oh my God, I'm a huge fan. Mm-hmm. And then they just vanished. Like, what happens to them? The fame got to their head. The fame got to their head and they couldn't take I'd it. I'd just no be more. curious. Like, I don't know what happened to those groups. I thought, you know what I thought? I thought she was talking about the group that one of the Jonas Brothers was in. They had that song. Oh, yeah. E- something about eating cake by the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Cake by the ocean. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was a fine song. Joe Jonas is fine up front, okay? Like, I saw him in person Over at this club. Nick? Girl, I saw him in person at this club in New York City one time, and I was like, is that Joe Jonas? Like, mm-hmm. I'm here, he's where that light is. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow. Okay. I don't know. Nick is bad. Nick is. I'm sad that he married that goof, though. Yeah. She's a goof. He He's definitely a top mm. 20 white boy. Come on, top 20 white boy. Yeah, top 20. Mm-t, 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 mm-t. He's no Chris Evans. He's no Chris Helmsworth. He's showing. Um, I'd take a stab at it, though. Why not? Yeah, if nobody else was doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? You know what? I think we should just start the show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys! Hey everyone! What is happening? What's poppin'? Episode 11 in the building. Yes! I'm your girl Sierra T. And I'm your girl Sherelle B. And this is Hat Raps and Lipsticks, the podcast. We wrap the culture up in color. Yes, mm-hmm, ma'am. Mm-hmm. All of that good stuff. <sighs> We've got a lot that is coming up uh, in the next, what? Two weeks? Two weeks. Giveaways, we turn five. Five! Our hashtag, I think, is five live. Five live on, on five, five five. Yes. Yes. Lots of lots of vibes and ives and going on. But, exactly. Um, we are so excited about turning five. Um, mm. Can't wait to go live with you guys. I think we're going live. Yes. Yes. Why would I say think? And it's called five yeah, live. It's okay. I'm just. It's a lot going on. It it's, is a lot. Okay. We are very booked and busy, which is what we always pray for. So Honestly. I'm very excited. A lot of things in motion coming up, but. Um, Stay tuned. Giveaway is coming through. Ah, 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 ah. All that good stuff. I look like that dude, Dan Rude. I'd be like this. Oh, my God. You know God. that guy? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> everybody seems to think he's black, but he is not. Yeah. He's a white. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Anywho, yeah. sis, mm. what can't you wrap your head around? All right. So I can't wrap my head around... Uh, the baby, okay. Oh no! So there's a clip that came up of the baby on a private plane, uh, private jet with his people, mm-hmm. and apparently one of the flight attendants looked like she just woke up. You know, so she had a little bit of bedhead, mm-hmm. and he was literally wait like, the flight attendant, the flight attendant. You know, she might have just been taking a nap because mm-hmm. whatever, like she's working, y'all mm-hmm. ain't doing shit. Yeah, and um, he was literally like berating her and I really can't wrap my head around it like what yeah it was it was pretty disgusting like home I'm I'm, play, I'm gonna play the clip real quick bottom line we gonna go nip this in the bug and we we gonna pay all that for that flight you gonna comb your head straight up they not nah, dog we gonna pay all that you gonna comb your head that's the least you can do that's the least you can do nigga bottom line Oh, I can't wrap my head around how unnecessary okay. that was. Like, why? Like, who do you think you are? Like, I'm, I mean, is the service good though? Exactly. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm seeing them eating, <laughs> drinking. They, they look 
like they're fine. And what if her, her hair, hair don't even look that bad? For exactly. Her. Like what if she was just having a bad hair day? Like okay. And I just I can't wrap my head around how unnecessary it was. It just, it kind of it, it annoyed me, and it made me think of that when we talked about Bow Wow a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. How he was saying we need to separate the artist from the music. Mm-hmm. So because of clips like this, I'm gonna put the baby in kind of like the the jerk pile. He might not be, you okay. know, maybe one day I will have an, an encounter with him, and maybe my views will change. Still a fan of his music. Love his music, mm-hmm. but little things like that is just like yeah, that wasn't necessary. I was, that like, was that, completely that unnecessary. That was an asshole move, right? Why would you do that? Okay, see, y'all be putting so, the internet. Sometimes I love the internet, but sometimes I hate it. Yeah, because of stuff like that. Because y'all like y'all use it to like berate people or right. talk down on people. She not even bother you. She's doing she's her service. Job. She's servicing you. You talking shit about her? You gonna call me on here? Okay, sir. Okay, like yeah. I hate it. I hate it here. Anyways, what you can't wrap your head around? Um, well, speaking of hair, mm-hmm. uh, all my close friends know that I am starting locks up under these head wraps. Yes. And uh, I'm tired of it. Oh. It is very, it's not stressing me out. Like, you know, some days I wake up, I'm like, oh, this is cute. And then some things, uh, days I wake up, I'm like, this is not happening for me right yeah. now. And it's like, you know what? It's kind of like a, when people say like, it's like a journey that teaches you patience. Yeah. I can definitely understand why. Mm-hmm. Because like right now, I'm still, it's only been two months. But I'm like, so sometimes my hair is unraveling sometimes. Uh, and it's like, you know, you, you're you so excited. You want it to start. Like the ones in the back, you know, there's nappy back there. That's a 4F back there. I don't know. Wait. You know, you know, you know how like the hair chart ends at 4C? No. The, my kitchen ends in F. That's a 4F back there. So no. those back there, they already, they already lock it. Not okay? a 4F. But like the stuff in the top, you know, my top is so thick yeah. and curly. Like it's just like, it's just so... The process is kind of frustrating. I ain't gonna lie to mm-hmm. you, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it. You know, I think once I get some length on them, I really, yeah, I'm gonna feel the like, <laughs> What? Gang, gang, gang! I throw the club, busting them heads. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, all that. Oh my god! But as of right now, <laughs> I cannot wrap my head around this. Oh man, I'm stressed. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna look super cute. You already look cute. Then you're gonna look super, more super cute, <sighs> girl. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be attracted to all the whole tabs for real this time. You might. Nose ring, head wraps, and locks. Listen and to if me. you got on hoops. Oh, my God. Don't come to me with that whole tip shit, okay? I am not. They're going to be playing Soul Sister by Bilal when you walk <laughs> Beloved. Like, oh. honestly. That's what you're going <laughs> to Please don't. Like, that's going to be your theme song, Soul Sister by Bilal. Please don't. They're going to call you Angie Stone. No. <laughs> no. No whole tip shit. You on. No. You're going to get something like, Assalamu alaikum. Like, wait, what? <laughs> No, this is a no hotep zone, shot. <laughs> like, <okay. laughs> Grand Rising, sister. Oh, oh. I what? It. You know what? I'm please, not even. I don't even please. know. I don't even know. Please. I don't even know. Do not Grand Rising me. <laughs> this don't like why? Why? I what what does that mean? I hate that phrase so Grand much. Rising. Grand Rising's queen. <laughs> like, what does that even mean? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Grand rising, get out of oh, here! Oh my god! Whew. Okay. All right, sis. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. I know. I know. I know. Um, it's time to get into the show, mm. and we want to warn you guys, this might be a heavy episode because very heavy. this week is just full of very much nonsense within our uh, justice system. Um, so timestamps will be below if you want to skip all of that stuff yeah. and just go to the uh, fun stuff. Right. Um, Which is also kind of heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, Because, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, let's go ahead. Mm-hmm. Let's run through these topics. All right. Um, well, if you do not know, mm-hmm. uh, justice was somewhat prevailed in the George Floyd case. His murderer, Derek Chauvin, has been uh, he's charged guilty. He's guilty. Guilty. Three counts of guilty. It don't even matter, like, you know... One count of manslaughter, two counts of second degree murder. Mm -hmm. Guilty. He is guilty on all charges. Guilty. The look on his face when the judge was reading the chart, reading the verdicts. 
priceless. It was. It he was. had this shock look on his face, like, but wait a minute, like I'm. This is supposed to go a different way. I'm white. What do you mean? What do you mean I'm getting? What do you mean I'm guilty? Guilty on all the all the charges? I'm white though. All the charges? But I'm white. Yeah, my man's really looked like he was like, I'm sorry. What? Did you, Did you say I was guilty? Like. <laughs> He had that real stoned face, like I'm guilty. Like, wait, say that again. Um, I'm good. Yeah, good. Get him out of here. Get, mm-hmm. If you have not been following the trial, um, I don't know if you've noticed, like on the show, we talked about it maybe once because it's just really, really, really heavy for us. Mm-hmm. Um, it hasn't even been a year since George Floyd was murdered. Um, you know, so this case actually came up relatively. Uh, relatively quick, mm-hmm. to be honest, and the verdict couldn't have come quicker. So the jury uh, deliberated for only ten and a half hours, mm-hmm. and um, it was you know it was just on our side. It was on George Floyd's side and his family side. I will say this: Derek Chauvin's lawyer. <laughs> mm. If you have been watching, if you were watching the trial and watching this man try his hardest to defend this murderer. It had to be very hard to watch because this man, I mean, in, in his defense, he really didn't have much to work with. Like the, the, there were way too many witnesses. Um, Derek barely had character witnesses. And then on top of that, Derek decided to use his Fifth Amendment rights and not talk. So. Oh, that must have been why he was surprised then. I mean, I, me personally. If I didn't do anything wrong, if I strongly, if I strongly, strongly feel mm-hmm. I did nothing wrong, you're going to hear what I got to say. Absolutely. I need to say my, but he said, you know what? I'm good. Because you know what you did was just flat out wrong. Mm-hmm. Just flat out wrong. When you have medical uh, medical experts literally saying, yes, George Floyd had this health ailment, this health ailment, and this health ailment. All three of them have nothing to do with this grown man, 200 and something pound man, kneeling on his neck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The neck is where your throat is, your, which connected to your esophagus, which is connected to your lungs, which you need to breathe. Mm-hmm. And his knee was on his neck. So how do you expect him to breathe? Right. Um, so yeah, in the lawyers, def- it really was not much for him to work with. Um, That's why they were trying to come up. Remember they were trying to come up with that bullshit about... The drugs in his system is what killed him yeah, and all that. No. Was it opioids? They said it was a, yeah. or he, uh, heroin that was in his system. Right. Like, no. Right. Your knee was on his neck. What, eight minutes? Wasn't it like eight minutes that his knee eight was on? Eight minutes and 46 six seconds? seconds? Um, no. No. I no. want him under the jail. He has to go. Um, actually, because <laughs> he has been held accountable on all three counts, his bail has been revoked. Ooh, that He's is. He's not getting out. Mm. There's no getting out. So now we're just waiting on the sentencing. Yeah. Uh, mm. On the sentencing. To no see bail. Oh, chef. No chef. bail. He, he wore that nice ass suit to court. Mm. And that's the last thing he was ever going to wear mm-hmm. for a very, very long time. So you get up to like 75 years, right? Bye. Mm. Mm. Chef's kiss. Bye. I love that song. Turn it up. Turn mm. it so up. So long. Farewell. <laughs> Bye. Gotta go. That's what happens. Um, Deuces. You know, so I I do, I, I've been seeing a lot of people on social media, of course, saying like, you know, hey, the work's not done. I want to say this real quick. No, we know that the work is not done, but I don't think that this is, there's anything wrong with using this time to just exhale. It's like, wow. Mm-hmm. So there are some people out there, those jury, um, that get it. You know what I mean? Out of all the things that are going on and that, are still going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, <clears throat> this is not the end. George Floyd is not going to be the last hashtag. To be honest, they got this case out in Minnesota, and now we have to deal with Dante Wright in the very same state. Yes. So let's just see what happens with that. Um, but there's nothing wrong, people, with just exhaling for a second and then getting back to work tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I, I think take this time to really, you know, just kind of be like, all right, cool. Not a celebration, but just like, all right, bet. Right. Y'all do see that this was just dead wrong. And he had to go. One less killer cop on the street. Mm-hmm. Yep. Period. So, I don't mean I don't know if it. I don't know if we could ever reform police brutality, but no. you know, it's a step in the in the right direction. We really need to reform the system. But that's another conversation for another day. I um. mean, honestly, <laughs> like it, it, I mean, it, 
I don't even know what else to say about that. Um, but I will say this mm-hmm. about um, actually speaking of what's going on in Minnesota and George Floyd, of course, the whole country was preparing for a not guilty verdict. You know what I mean? Yes. Everybody was preparing for him to just be let go because I'm. So I'm still trying to figure out how George Zimmerman is still walking these fucking streets. Oh my god! I, oh my god! I can't understand it, but that's Florida. So yes, it is. Um, the whole country literally has been preparing for riots <clears throat> to go on. I know schools in Minnesota are closed from Wednesday to thir- uh, Wednesday to Friday. Um, you know they've been bringing the national guards, all that stuff like that. Well, um, come to find out, a lot of the governors in the United States. Um, are really trying to figure out the best ways to take away <clears throat> y'all rights mm-hmm. to protest and freedom of speech, starting with the state of Florida. I don't know how this man sleeps at night. I, re- I really don't. Like It, it's, it is disgusting. <laughs> Do you like, hear me? Like, seriously, I don't know how. It is disgusting. And those who watch us from Florida, <clears throat> listen to us in Florida, maybe you can educate us a little bit more on... Ron DeSantis. I mean, he he. We already knew he's a criminal. He stole the election from Andrew Gillum. So, you know, it is what it is. Mm. Uh, but Florida literally um, last week they approved an anti riot bill, um, sending it to him for signature into law over the objections of Democrats and civil rights groups who say the men, the measure infringes on the fundamental First Amendment right to protest. Um, I just want to read exactly what this does. So the part. Excuse me. The parts of the bill that most upset Democrats grant civil legal immunity to people who drive. <laughs> I want to just kind of read that again. Grant civil legal immunity. Immunity. Keyword there. To people who drive through protesters blocking a road, like what happened in Charlottesville. Yes. Prevent people arrested for rioting or offenses committed during a rioting from bailing out of jail until their first court appearance. And impose a six month, six month mandatory sentence for battery on a police officer during a riot. Like, how are you giving someone immunity for driving through a group of people? Mm -hmm. These laws are to supposed to protect us. Yeah. And they are doing nothing but protecting the people who are out here hitting and abusing us while we're just standing standing peacefully f- for our rights. Right. That is fucking absurd. Yeah. Florida is disgusting. So the governor was really like, he emphasized on the need to prevent bail for riders so they aren't able to rejoin the unrest. So basically it's like, stay in jail until this calms down and then maybe we'll let you out. <clears throat> um. But that's not the only only state that was on that BS. Right. I sense this. I can't. I don't have. I, I have it. I have it up. The TikTok of this lady of explaining like for Minnesota, which is what we just was talking about. Right. How the their they, what their anti riot protest bill is gonna look like, and it's yeah. L- listen to this. <laughs> It's Monday, Monday night, and here's what happened. happened. As, As the Derek, Derek Chauvin, Chauvin trial is coming to an end, and twelve jurors decide his fate. Pretty much every state governor is trying to decide how they're going to manage the verdict. And this morning, Minnesota was considering an anti-protest bill that would make it illegal for you to get a student loan, unemployment, a small business loan, or SNAP if you were convicted of participating in a riot. They also want to expand the meaning of riot to be any sort of public disturbance. Now, that has not passed yet, but states like Florida already have put through a lot of the anti-protest legislation, including immunity for drivers who hit protest with their vehicle. Oklahoma wants to fine you a million dollars if you're found to be a conspirator of a protest. And though they were criticized for it over the summer, Facebook and Instagram will regulate posts with hashtag George Floyd that are deemed to potentially incite violence or glorify or praise his death. Recap of all the rest of the day's news next. It's Monday. <clears throat> Shout out to her on TikTok. She yeah. goes by under the desk news. She's literally under her desk. I think it's kind of clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's kind of clever. So shout out to her. Um, Minnesota with all of the <clears throat> student loans. You, you, can't get a, you can't get unemployment. This is all if you are arrested while, while at a protest. 
You can't you can't get unemployment. You can't get a small business loan. You can't do nothing. You can't like and let's not even talk about like how difficult the system already is for people who are already like convicted felons and they, you know, all the things they have to go through to, you know, just live a normal life and then being able to find jobs and things like that. Like this, this, no one, you're not doing this for the people. You are literally doing this to silence us. And that is so absurd to me. Like this, ha- like that has to be against something. I don't know the constitution very well. It is. Okay, here we go. It is. That, that's what, like, I was literally looking at up because the right to assemble mm-hmm. and petition Okay, Mm -hmm. the right of the people, I'm sorry, the right of the people peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances protects two distinct rights, assembly and petition. The clause reference to a single right has led some courts and scholars to assume that it protects only the right to assemble in order to petition the government. But the comma after the word assemble is residual from earlier drafts that made clearer the found uh, the founder's intention to protect two separate rights. For example, debates on the House of Representatives during the adoption of the Bill of Rights linked assembly to the arrest and trial of William Penn for participating in collective religious worship that had nothing to do with petitioning the government. This goes on and on and on and on and on. But basically, this is against the constitutional rights. Like, you have your freedom of speech. You have your freedom to, uh, you have the right to petition and assemble. So what are they doing? They're trying to silence us. They're trying to silence the people Mm. by threatening to take away their basic human rights like unemployment and getting a small business loan. Like, Why? And that's why, like, why? Why is people, like, people, okay. I'm not against writing. Like, I I can understand if you were doing, like, like, none of, if you notice, none of these law, none of these uh, laws that are being put into place, especially in, in Florida, has nothing to do with, you know, dismantling businesses and things like that. People literally creating havoc in the street. Mm -hmm. This is against peaceful protests. It's like Sis said. Mm -hmm. People peacefully protesting in the street and somebody can take their car and just ram through them. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I just murdered 20 people, but, you know, I'm going to go home. But I got civil immunity now. Exactly. That is insane That's to me. That's crazy. And you know what's interesting? They won't have all this same action for when all those people, when they, uh, when, when like a white team wins, a white hockey team wins, and some city goes crazy and they flipping cars over and burning right. fucking oil barrels in the middle of the street right. and shit like that. They're not going to have the same energy for that, for, that, for that type of stuff. Exactly. It's only when we're out here fighting for things that matter that really matter to us that really matter to the people is when y'all want to silence us and it's really fucked up like that is so crazy to me that is so crazy to me and the fact that this can even go through and the fact that you have people in office who are doing this means that we have a lot of work to do because why are these people even allowed to make decisions like this in the first place y'all vote for these i'm not even gonna get on voting rights okay because y'all vote for these people y'all vote for these people so I, i it is what it is Y'all vote for these people. Okay? Y'all vote for these people. Listen. So, and I, I don't, and look at what's happening in Georgia. People are moving, because of their um, vote, the new voters bill that they, they, they passed, mm-hmm. people are moving stuff out of Georgia. Okay? Mm-hmm. MLB said, yeah, no. Um, did they have, well, I think that was before. Uh, so they had the All-Star game. Mm-hmm. Movies are moving out. Like, I know yep. uh, Will Smith is coming out with a new movie. They're not shooting it there anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, Black Panther 2. Yep. I mean, unfortunately, they're trying to figure out how they're going to do it because they're partnering with a lot of small businesses in the region to make this movie happen. Mm-hmm. And we got a movie because your governor right. is just a butthead. It's disgusting. He's a butthead. Governor DeSantis, Governor Kemp, y'all are buttheads. You heard it right here on Head, Rise, and Lips. Y'all are buttheads. I mean, really. Because, like, why? There's nothing else that you could be focusing on. But is there nothing else you could be focusing on? Like, no, like I'm pretty sure. I mean, Florida, you know. Florida has a shitload of things that he could. That governor has a lot of things he could be worried about outside of protesting right now. Governors get two terms, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. So this is his second term? Uh, governor DeSantis? Uh, mm. I'm not sure. Mm. I'm not sure. Mm. Um, Girl, I... I I don't know. Make sure your ass is voting in every election. In the words of DMX, you think this is an effing game? It's not. It's really not. You think it's an effing game? And if we have to make sure that y'all are out here voting and getting the right information um, about your state, maybe we need to, yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say less. We got it. We will figure it out. Don't worry. We got it. Solution is coming soon. Because this is ridiculous. Because so you can get the information that you need. Yeah. This, no. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. We got you. Yeah. We got it, you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah. Um. So, these past week, we've had um, verdicts being read. We've had governors acting crazy. But we also have had massive shootings all over the country. Um, from Texas to Florida. There was one earliest week on Long Island at a, a grocery store in West Hempstead. They're all over the place. So, literally, the country is opening up. Everybody can sit here and talk about COVID. They don't give a fuck because COVID is, they're, they're shooting now. Mm -hmm. um, they said this, this, the country is open back up. Yeah. And so are these rifles. Is it? That's exactly what no, they said. That's like, exactly what they said. Not a game. Not a game. Um, so, first up, I mean, there's been so many, but the first one that we want to talk about is in Knoxville, Tennessee. Mm. And sis brought this up. Yo. And craziness. Like, this I, was so... So bizarre when I saw it. If I can pull I, it up, you got it. I have a story. Yeah, okay. like this is it's it's crazy. So like protesters are demanding the release of body police camera studio of a student of a student's fatal shooting at a Tennessee high school. Um, those charged were among dozens of demonstrators who filed into a Knox County Commission meeting Monday after Monday evening, raised their fists. Uh, most remained silent. Um, but some were vocal in calling for authorities to release video from the April 12th shooting in a Knoxville, Austin East Magna High School that killed seven uh, that killed Anthony Jr. Anthony J. Thompson Jr., who was 17 years old. Um, so the mayor said the video was essential to restoring trust in the police. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation initially said that the student fired at police before he was killed. Then later said the bullet that wounded an officer mm -hmm. did not come from the student's gun. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so the district attorney has declined, um, has declined to release a video saying it could damage the Tennessee rules of investigations probe into the shooting. No, it can't. If you release the video, I mean, eh, that's what we talked about last week, what Maryland did about, you know, uh, police. That's what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Give it to the public. Okay. Cause we can't trust y'all. Right. Um, yeah. So activists who, um, also push, um, also pushed release of the video along with three of the four officers involved with the shooting. Yep. At least three other students in the school have died in off-campus shootings this year. The school remained closed. So it, it's really kind of, it's kind of iffy right now. Um, so they said like the student um, who I told you was 17 year old Anthony Thompson was killed in a confrontation with police inside of a bathroom. Girl, what? They said the time that Thompson fired shots at officers as officers entered the bathroom, striking an officer. Two days later, uh, TBI, Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, changed a statement saying the student's gun was fired during a struggle with the school resource officer, Adam Wilson, who was wounded. What? Yeah. And then the second statement, the officer, they said that the officer was not shot with Thompson's gun. So what does this say? Is it one mic or is it Uchi Wally? Because it, it's, it's too much going on here. It's too much going on. And the fact that y'all lied in the first place and trying to say, oh, he, the student shot first. Yeah. Come on, man. The officer, so w Wilson is recovering from surgery. Of course, Thompson is deceased. Um, <sighs> like, a what? They talking about they, they're, they're afraid to release the footage because it'll mess up the the... The representation of the police. We don't fuck with y'all already. Right. How it much don't even worse matter. could it get? It, it, yeah. You need people on your side and you don't have that, G. Yeah. Like, Seriously. Like, come on, man. Like, Makes no sense whatsoever. Release the tapes. You can say that BS excuse for somebody else. No. But it's not happening here. It's really not. Y'all lied to us. You won't release the tape. You killed this young man in a school bathroom, said it was a mass shooting. Yeah, What? like what? It's already look just. It's bad. It's bad on every <laughs> on every side. What is happening right now? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. It's bad across the board. Like we don't know. But again, there's only one person here to tell the story, and that's the police officer. Oh the only person here that knows what happens is alive is the police officer, not uh, not Thompson, who was killed at 17 years old. <sighs> Rest in peace to that young man. I mean, also rest in peace to um, Adam Toledo, mm. a 13-year-old in Chicago. Uh, I'm sorry, not Chicago. No, I think you were right. right? Um, 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm sorry. Um, he's from Little Village. Um, La Velita, I think that's how yeah. they said it. Um, he was 13 years old and was shot and killed by Chicago police. Um, the fatal shooting was captured on newly released body cameras, footage, and surveillance video. Um, it's it's pretty it's, it's it was pretty I don't know if you guys saw it on social media it was actually really really hard to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, this happened on March 29th. They were responding to gunshots in the area where they actually saw Toledo in the alley. The footage shows an officer chasing after the team, yelling at him to stop. He literally had his hands in the air. Show his hands. They said, "Drop it." Um, yeah, mm-hmm. the officer of course thought he saw a gun. If you see the video, his hands are very much in the air. Um, less than a second later, the teen's hands moved up without a gun. Okay? And he was shot once in the chest. Now, I'm going to read that again. The officer reported seeing a gun in Toledo's hand, which police said is evidence in a freeze frame. However, less than a second later... The teen's hands moved up without a gun, and he was shot once in the chest. So if the police are saying that they saw a gun in a freeze frame, but they didn't find a gun anywhere on the ground, and his hands were up in the air, why did you feel the need to shoot this 13-year-old boy? Okay? And like... Knoxville, like Minnesota, like Kentucky, like Baltimore, like Cincinnati, like all over the country, Mm -hmm. the only ones here to defend themselves are these bitch ass police, not their victims. So we can't even find out if Adam had a gun or not. We can just, we can only just base it off of what the police are seeing in a freeze frame and the police officer that shot and killed him. Like, what's the point of you telling me to put my hands up if you're going to shoot me anyway? He was 13. That is terrible. Should have just shot him in the back if he was going to be a bitch that other way about it. Like, come on, man. You could have shot him in the hand. Or you could have tased him. Because a taser is an option. You know, but I mean, we know that police don't know the difference between, you know, guns and tasers. Like, like Kim Potter, who shot Mm. Dante Wright. So, um... The last shooting. Oh, rest in peace to that young man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. Um, the last shooting that we're going to talk about today, um, this has nothing to do with police brutality. This is just a disgruntled employee mm-hmm. um, at FedEx. He, um, he killed eight of his coworkers in a shooting um, in an Indianapolis facility. Um, the suspect is also dead. Um, so, yeah, what? he literally opened... Uh, fire at a FedEx facility in Indianapolis late Thursday before killing himself. Um, four others who were shot and another who said um, another who was injured were taken to hospitals. Um, yeah. Why so, did he? Why did he shoot? Oh, oh my god. Yeah. A motive, so the motive for the attack was uh, was immediately uh, wasn't immediately clear. But a year ago, see he, here's where police officers <laughs> don't do their job. Jesus Christ. Here's where the police don't do their job because he was white. I shouldn't say that. Well, I already said it. A year ago, the shooter's mother said she feared that he might be suicidal. In March 2020, the suspect's mother contacted law enforcement, uh, law enforcement to report that he might try to attempt suicide by a cop. What? Yeah. So the phrase suicide by a cop refers to a self-destructive person who initially draws the attention of police in hopes of a deadly confrontation. Um, yeah. So... Um, the shooter was 19-year-old Brandon Scott Hole. Um, it happened shortly after 11 p.m. Um, yeah. They said the suspect um, came to the facility. When he got there, he got out of his car and pretty quickly started just some random shooting outside the facility. Did he work there? No. I don't think so. What? Yeah. The, sus- the, the gunman killed himself shortly after, before police arrived, um, adding that investigators believe he had a rifle. Um, 
The victims, 32, 19, 66, 64, mm. 68, 48, 19, and 74. Oh, my God. Um, and they mm. were all FedEx employees. So... The, the problem is that mm-hmm. I don't think that the police should be contacted for mental health issues. We, I think we do need a system in place where there are people who can come out and talk yeah. to them. But with that being said, she did contact them a year ago and they didn't do anything about it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Evaluate them. Something. Yes. Keep it with something. Something. Right. Social workers. So, I don't Something. We wouldn't have this situation. We wouldn't have nine people dead. And I said nine, was including him. Mm. He could have gotten help. You know what I mean? A year ago. Uh, yeah. Um, on a local news, um, there was kind of a call to action. Uh, Mayor Lyles and uh, CMPD put out, um, you know, wanted everybody um, in the LGBTQ community to stay safe, especially those who are sex workers, Mm -hmm. because there was literally a matter of two murders that happened back to back, um, in Charlotte last week. Um, Jada Peterson and Remy Fennell, um, they were killed, shot. Um, uh, they were both found, um, one was found at a quality inn and suites, uh, airport hotel. And another was discovered at a sleep in university place. Mm. Um, yeah, they were both um, black transgender women and, um, yeah, 29 and 28. So um, CMPD and, you know, the city pretty much was kind of on watch. Mm-hmm. However, they did find um, they did find two suspects um, in the shooting. So, yeah, so those who are in the LGBT community are just, just out here, period, especially please. those who are um, sex workers, just please be... Please, please, please be careful. Mm-hmm. Um, Get a permit. Shoot these niggas. Yeah, shoot them. Yeah, they were and they were both <laughs> they were both shot to death um, mm-hmm. in hotels. So um, and looks like the suspects have identif- identified as twenty one year old Dontarius Long and thirty three year old Joel Brewer. Yeah. So both. they they those two guys killed both of those ladies. That's what it looks like. Yeah, both were charged with murder and conspiracy to commit to commit robbery with a dangerous rep- weapon. Um, that's disgusting. Yeah, it really is. Oh! Rest in peace to those, to those young ladies. Jesus. Um, one last thing with, of heavy news, and then we'll get to the fun stuff. Um, and this is some bullshit right here. One of the cops involved in Breonna Taylor's death just got a book deal. Yep, you heard me right. Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly, Mattingly one of the, the three Louisville, Kentucky police officers who raided Taylor's apartment in March 2020, is writing a book about the case titled The Fight for Truth, the inside story behind the Breonna Taylor tragedy. I don't want to hear no more. Get me the fuck out of here. I don't want to hear it. I'm really, I'm fucking disgusted. Okay, wait, let me see. Mattingly is the same man who, along with his colleagues, fired more than two dozen bullets into Taylor's apartment while she and her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, were asleep. The same man who sued Walker, alleging that alleging that Walker's actions caused him severe trauma, mental anguish, and emotional distress after Walker witnessed his girlfriend bleed to death and then was taken away in handcuffs. The same man who, after Taylor died from at least six bullet wounds, wrote an email saying, we did the legal, moral, and ethical thing that night. This man was called severe trauma, mental anguish, and emotional distress? Were you in the bed when your girl, when your girlfriend, when she got shot the fuck up by police? Were you, are you being, were you uh, accused of, and, and arrested when you had nothing to do with it? You had severe trauma, and you're gonna tell, talk about us telling the truth. Not Simon and Schuster going okay. to gonna be the one to distribute. The, this is the ghetto. Well, so Simon and Shooter put out a uh, a statement saying that they are pulling out of the book deal, you know, pretty much was saying like they didn't realize that that's what they were doing. Like, shut what the, you mean? What you shut mean? Shut the fuck know. up. You know what it is. As soon as you saw the title, you should have known what the fuck was shut going on. Shut the fuck up. Who do like, you think y'all talking to? I'm sorry. I, I, who y'all 
think y'all talking to? We did. I didn't know. We didn't realize. What do you mean you didn't realize? You see this bullshit? I know you paying attention to what's going on in the world. Stop acting. Okay. You know what? No. No. It, it's no, because it's crazy to me. Fucking ridiculous. Who are y'all talking to? Who are they talking to? Y'all think we stupid. Y'all trying to slick a can of oil. What is happening right now? How could you... I don't really have shit to say. Oh, you're right. Okay, it says the book will be published by Tennessee-based Post Hill Press. Um, Post Hill Press did not immediately respond to HuffPost's request for comment. Simon & Schuster, which had been set to distribute the book, initially declined to comment on the record. But after this article was first published mm-hmm. and public backlash swiftly followed, the company said it was backing out of the distri- yeah, distribution. Yeah, no. Too late. And here's what they said for them. Too late. This is what they said. Like, like much of the American public earlier today, Simon & Schuster learned of plans by distribution client Post Hill Press to publish a book by Jonathan Manley. We have subsequently decided not to be involved in the distribution of this book. You just learned. All right. Right. You're just learning about what's going on. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I just, I, I can't see who her. The, I really can't. Who, do you, who the fuck do you think? I really Who can't. you talking to? That's going to be the name of this episode. Who do you think you talking to? Who you talking to? Who? Y'all really think we out here stupid. And just because we don't use $5 words, words don't mean that we don't know what we're talking about. You cannot slip a cover over our eyes. You cannot piss on us and say that it's raining. I am disgusted, Sherelle. Like, that I is am, so, I, I am, you know, okay. I don't like it. I literally, I can't. Who do you think like, you're I can't. To? I can't. There's, I can't. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I just. I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening. And I'm probably never. I never am going to understand what's going on. But it. It. It's just so disgusting how we have to continue to have the. We've been. We've been doing this for five years. Mm-hmm. And every freaking season, I hate it. Every season we have to go through this bullshit. We have to have several heavy episodes a season because of these stupid ass cops that don't know the laws that they swore to protect and serve. No, I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of it. I'm so happy that we got one off the street. Um, you know, Derek Chauvin, get him the fuck out of here. But it just makes me sick to my stomach. What really pisses me off sis, is like, so when I watch Derek Chauvin get, um, convicted, mm-hmm. my sister Shanika called me, um, you know, we were just talking about it because mm-hmm. we were both really, really happy. Mm-hmm. And she was crying. I was crying. Mm-hmm. And then my nephew was like, why are you crying? And she's like, you know, you know, I'm just really happy. And she was like, why is everybody crying? Why is everybody cheering? What's going on? He's four. And I had to hang up because now my sister has explained to my four-year-old nephew why he really can't trust the police mm-hmm. that's supposed to, that, he, that he learns in school to call to protect him. And he's four. I couldn't stay on the phone and listen to mm. ha, listen to my sister have to explain to my four year old nephew why they need to call why he needs to call the police when he's trouble, but then why he also doesn't need to call, trust the police after they get there. It's ridiculous. She shouldn't have to explain to him why she's why she's cheering because this cop gets convicted, mm-hmm. but sad because she knows that another cop is getting away with it, right. like Brianna Taylor's killer who's writing a mm-hmm. fucking book about murdering her and her fucking sleep like i just i can't i'm so tired i am so tired of having these heavy episodes i'm really sick of it it you know it it weighs a toll on all of us you know it really it's like even without us talking about it you know what i'm saying like just seriously just a thought process and you know like i hadn't watched any of the any of the trial because you know i just i can't anymore you know i can't anymore it's part of the reason why i got reason why i picked up reading books this year that where people was talking about angels and, and fairies and shit because i can't do it anymore i can't do it anymore and i'm and i'm and i'm worried about being desensitized to seeing my people get killed like this every day like that yeah is a fear of mine like i should be like oh oh man yeah right you know what i'm saying like that's a life that's somebody's life 
And then you got governors who are saying, oh, you can ram your vehicle into other people. And we'll give you civil immunity. Immunity. That's crazy to me. Think about what that, the, uh, I'm drawing a blank on her name in um, in Charlottesville. Think about how her family's feeling. Yes. The, uh, just all them people that literally that person could have murdered much more people that, like, much more people that day. But the fact that he killed one. It... <sighs> Anyways, I, I can't. So we're gonna stop there with the heavy stuff. Um, Fuck, <laughs> it's just I can't. Um, we're gonna move on to something a little bit lighter. Um, it's still some fuck shit. Is this? It's, it's, a, it's a little less fuck shit, but I mean, what's in? Well, okay, let's start with Lori Lightfoot. Um, they are asking for her to resign. They're upset about because about the Adam Toledo case. Mm-hmm. They want her to resign because. They're taking too long to. They were taking too long to release the footage mm-hmm. of um, of this case. Yeah. So they want her out of the office. Apparently, Lori Lightfoot isn't a good mayor. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> oh. I mean, <laughs> I don't want no smoke with Chicago, but I don't hear anything good coming out of Chicago. The only thing I see about Lori Lightfoot are memes. I never see about like anything else about her on my timeline. I mean, you got you got to think about it. You have you have Adam Toledo. You had Laquan McDaniel. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sorry, McDonald. Yes. Oh you, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's just too many cases under this one woman's power that she's doing nothing about it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We don't live in Chicago, but it's like I mean, I I, I don't know. I, I just I don't see nothing good coming out of Chicago mm-hmm. other than G Herbo and Lil Dirt. Is he from? I don't know. Well, don't G even... Herbo, I know G Herbo is from. You know, I don't see anything good coming out of Chicago like that. You know what I'm saying? And and it looks like all the people Chicago want is for y'all to get these crooked ass police off their back. Like, yes, yes. This little I mean, it only yes. don't seem like they're asking for much. It really does not seem like they're asking for mm-hmm. much. So like, and it, and you can't do that for the people that you that voted you in and said that you were going to get shit done. Chicago has, I think they have like a really interesting history in terms of like bad apples mm-hmm. <laughs> inside of their like police department. Like, I don't, if, like if I, I could be wrong, but I feel like they like, okay, granted, like all police departments, right? But like they have like a severe amount of number of people mm. who are like crooked that are a part of their police department. Yeah, that's, no, that's not good. I know, right, right. That's not good. The mayor should be... There was a show... You know what's crazy? There was a show that used to be on Stars called Boss, mm-hmm. starring Kelsey Grammer. Such a good fucking show. Mm-hmm. But it literally talked about corrupt politicians. Mm-hmm. He was a corrupt... The corrupt mayor of Chicago. They actually had the dude that used to be the mayor of Chicago, Ram, uh, Rahm Manuel. Don't get me lying. Yeah. He actually, like, guest starred in the show a couple times. I was like, huh. Oh. <laughs> Ironic, getting it? That's um, weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was, it was talking about this crooked politician and how he was working with police. He was working with drug dealers. It was a lot going on in the mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. It's like Hollywood was literally showing us what, was what going, is going, going on, on in that city. That's supposed to be so pretty and so full of life. Like, but it's also just full of a lot of just crooked-ass cops and, damn, you know, you know, meme having mayors. I don't know. Yeah. Well, Lori says she not resigning, but they, the people said they still want her ass out of the office. Um, the people are not impressed with. <laughs> I get it. I feel like that should be a thing. Like they should like the, if enough people complain mm-hmm. about politicians on a local level, like just go. I yeah. feel like it should be like all right. You know, social media is not talking. It's talking about it. There's nothing like. There's no good comment. It's like it's like Google reviews. <laughs> or Yelp reviews. Yeah, it's like there's nothing good here. Mm. So why, you know what I'm saying? If you don't change within 30 days or something like that, then you got to go. Yeah. It's it's plain and simple. Yeah, well, she said, I'm not going nowhere. Okay. That's all you got to say? She's, that was her, that was her. That well, was no, her? she, I mean, that was me uh, being, uh, paraphrasing. She said, oh. good morning from my mansion in Sisagashna. I think she was, be- yeah. Okay, she was joking. Damn, girl, not you joking in the middle of a serious rumor. <laughs> she said, seriously, though, our city doesn't have any time for homophobic, racist, and misogynistic rumors today or any day. Where's her other tweet at? It was up here. Um, 
It's shocking and disappointing to see some media members and verified Twitter handles are peddling this trash as truth. So yeah, she's not she's not she's not going nowhere. What does you resigning have to do with being racist and homophobic? Yeah, I also was trying to figure that out. Um, but I mean, you know, people like to put their other agendas inside. Yeah, of, they don't got shit to do yeah, with it. So they could have been like, oh, you know, you f word. I wish you would resign. Okay, yeah, that's that's mean. That is very mean. Why would you say that? That's mean, but right. Okay. The the key word there is resign. Don't nobody care about all the other stuff. Yeah. Resign. Whether yeah. The people still want her to resign. Whether they were, yeah. whether they were homophobic or racist toward her, they yeah. still they still want you out of the office. So uh, anyways. Oh my gosh, I can't. Do you want to do the WNBA picks or you want to do these these niggas first? Well, it, I mean, I guess the WNBA was that's that's definitely light. You know, we can break that up a little bit. Okay. You know, so the WNBA had their draft and uh the players came out dunking, okay? Yes. Um been super dope. I don't know um not saying that the NBA draft is not important, but a lot of people don't pay attention to it as they should, you know, they mm-hmm. really should though. And this year's uh this year's class of 2021 um, had some great shoes. They had some great. Ooh, the, um, the girls was dressing. I mean, dressing, dressing, okay. not playing in the game. They had their stylist. They took their best stuff out. Yes. Put them sneakers away and bought out the heels. Oh yes. Had their family behind them. It was one in the, um one in particular. Her grandmother was turned. Okay. Mm-hmm. Turned. Um, I forget. Somebody came to the New York Liberty. I saw um going to the Sparks. There was a lot going on. So yeah, and it was really nice because I had never seen a WNBA draft pick, uh, draft. Oh really? Draft videos, but not on not, not on my timeline. Mm. No, so it was really nice to see women being celebrated like yeah. that and seeing their families like rallying behind them and yeah. being so excited. Like, yeah, I really hope that we continue to have more growth in the WNBA. Yeah, and, you know, like you know, pay these women their worth. You know, so that so that we can stop having our great players leave us to go yeah. play for other countries and have them play here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, shout out to the ladies. Like y'all was looking good. Looking I was like, real good. I was like, look at y'all showing up. Looking and great. And show it out. Like, looking great. That really, it really put a smile on my face, like to see all those videos and yeah. see, like, just, because, you know, we don't get celebrated like that in terms of, like, sports. You know what I'm saying? No. So, like, to see women represented like that, like, oh, it just really made my heart smile. Yeah. That and, was really and nice. all women, they were just, they, mm-hmm. would just, they just look great. They did. They looked amazing. They did. So, so yeah, make sure you pay them women. Yes, okay? pay them they worth. Pay get, them. They worth millions too. Shit. Seriously. Okay. Okay. With that $100,000 bullshit. You got your Sue Bird, you got your Sharitha Witherspoons, mm-hmm. you got your, your uh, your Kim Hamptons. Ooh, am I showing my age? I'm going way back into WNBA history. Girl, all I got for you is Lisa Leslie. Yeah, Lisa. I'm going and way Dawn back. Staley. Dawn Staley. I was a huge Teresa Witherspoon fan when she played for the uh, New York Liberty. I saw her play a few mm-hmm. times. Um, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. <sighs> all right, sis. I'm going to let you take the lead on this crap because you're the one who found, who found these videos. All right. Ugh. Fine. Let me hold on. Ugh. Disgusting. So, y'all know who Kevin Samuels is, okay? Still not really sure how to uh, uh, describe dude. He came out of nowhere, honestly. He really did. He really came out of nowhere. Um, Has like a little YouTube channel where he... Uh, refuses to buy lighting equipment. God damn. Well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you sitting in the dark, he nigga? Is, he's sitting in the dark. But you got like two million followers. Yeah, but two million about but he not paying his light bill. I don't oh, know. It, it, he don't even got a candle. He don't got nothing going on. I don't know what happened. Child. He gets on here and pretty much berates women um and men. Oh yeah. He does berate the men. Um and his platform has gotten bigger and bigger. Excuse me. Oh, excuse God me. Bless you. Sorry, bless thank you. you. Um, has gotten bigger and bigger to the point that he caught uh, the attention of other toxic men, aka Joe Budden, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> to be uh, <laughs> yes. to be on his show and talk about um, whatever they were talking about. And there was one certain clip that came across the timeline where they were uh, talking about our beloved uh, icy girl, sweetie. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to, uh... You want to play that garbage? I'm going to play this clip. And I'm going to say this. I want to just shout out... You know what? Let me just, let me just play it first. Let me, let me, just, let me just play it first. Mm-hmm. Because it was bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. I want to hear what he has to say <laughs> okay. about calling Sweetie a six. <laughs> An adjustable six, meaning she can go from cute to pretty. But see, when I judge women, I don't judge them. I judge women by the same metric. 
Uh, and this is where people get into the image consulting thing. I look at you, fresh face, no makeup, your natural state. And if you have ever seen her pictures, fresh face, natural state, she's a cute woman who can be pretty. But I don't think she's ever going to be considered to be beautiful or gorgeous. That does not mean she's bad. But there has to be a... But what if she's already considered beautiful and gorgeous? But he's saying strip away all of the accessories and you get what you get. See, if you this is why when I use, when I talk about a scale, there's... First off, there are people who hate the whole notion. There's a scale or there's a Eurocentric standard of beauty. I'm like, look, Pam Greer. Go back to the 70s. Pam Greer is an eight. Yes. Jackie but she, Kennedy. But she looks good. But, but the thing is... Jackie Kennedy, is that what you said? Back then, you would have seen someone like Diane Carroll. She's up in that nine category. Dorothy Dandridge would have been up around that 10 area. There's always going to be levels to this. But what women today are saying is they're all tens. And, and they don't great. believe that. They don't listen, believe that but this themselves. Is listen, it's PC. If I have a, if, if I, because everybody got a platform today, and if on my platform I'm a woman and I got 30 million people that if I say that wall is blue, they're going to say the wall is blue with me, then what the fuck do it matter what else is happening in the real world, Right. But that's all these kids are doing on the internet. No, that's not true, though, because then you get into a realism situation versus an idealistic situation. So idealistically, you can say every woman is a 10, every woman is beautiful. But do you really go home and believe that? Because, no, blah, because blah, blah, if blah, blah, you blah, believe blah. that, you wouldn't be buying a shitload of makeup every fucking day. You wouldn't be take an hour to get dressed before you leave the house making up your face if you thought you were a 10 already. Well, and that goes to my... All right. Okay. Um, Who are you talking to? I just want to say the reason I found this article is thank you to Broderick Hunter, who is, okay, look him up. He is good looking. That's he, a fine man. That is a good looking man That's right there, okay? Mm -hmm. This is what he said. He said, a room full of men, 40, 40 plus gathered ideas on the topic, on a to on the topic of discussion and decided ranking young women they'd never get a look from on a scale of one to 10 would be ideal. Y'all should be at red lights blasting Boosty Collins on motorcycles. Um, I think that's what to, like okay alright you're open to your opinion okay like surely yes yeah, you're open yes. to your opinion yes um I don't think half the world would agree with you when it comes to sweetie um sweetie is a gorgeous young lady mm -hmm. Make, makeup on or off she is a gorgeous woman um, Roger Hunter is absolutely right that I don't think she would look any of these ashy ass dudes. I mean, Kevin saying he was, he don't even look, he ain't even come dressed. Like what if he got on? He just, ugh, oh my God, you're open to your opinion. But I think that there has, there has been a, how do I say this? I think men have just gotten a little bit too comfortable with uh with when it comes to the whole rating thing and ex and trying to explain why women should not feel beautiful. Mm. They have gotten extremely too comfortable for my liking mm -hmm. to tell the world yeah, no, sweetie, you you can't be a queen, or you can't think that you're gorgeous if you sit here putting makeup on your face, or you can't think you're you're cute if you're getting weaves, or you can't think this because of this, and this, this, that, and a third. What's this say? Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? What are you talking about? Like, what are you talking? What are you talking? What are about? you talking about? What are you saying out of your mouth right now? What are you talking? And why about? doesn't it make sense? Like. I be trying not to get on my soapbox out here in these streets. I promise you that. But like, jump in the soap dish, bit. Uh, uh, okay, jump in. So jump in, jump out. Sorry. Okay. So we live in a patriarchal society, right? So 
women didn't set the rules, right? Right. Women didn't set the rules for, in terms of mm-hmm. beauty standards, what is considered beautiful, right? Now, with that being said, that guy said that all women out here are saying that they tend their tens. Mm-hmm. But if a if, if he try to holler at a girl and the girl says, "Oh, I'm just a five, then you're not gonna be cool with that either, right? Okay, so you will want your woman, whoever you with. I'm sir, I would hope if you are uh, if you aren't toxic and you are comfortable in your masculinity, mm. I would hope that you will want a woman who is confident in the way that she looks. Right. On top of that, when women wear makeup and get dressed up, most of the time they're not doing it for men. Ooh. When I wear makeup, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it for you. It ain't for you, ho. You ain't my man. I, I've had this conversation with my dad on numerous occasions. Um, and I like talking to my dad about stuff like that because, you know, first of all, he has four daughters, a mm-hmm. wife. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Four daughters, a wife. <laughs> How many? Destiny. Destiny. Aja, De- four grand, uh, granddaughters. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's... It, it, so it could be a lot for him. So it's interesting hearing his his perspective. We had this conversation because he once is was you know he was dating and raised in the old school when it did come a time where women felt like makeup needs to be uh, makeup needed to be worn in order to attract the opposite sex. Mm-hmm. Okay, and he was like you know like y'all not get like y'all um you know y'all get dressed. He always would say that like you know we go out to get chills. Mm. And I'd be like, mm, no, 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 sir. That's not how it works. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, so you're telling me that when you go to the club, you don't expect for a dude. Da, 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 da. I'm like, I'm not saying that it's not expected, mm-hmm. but don't think for one second that I'm literally just going out to get chose that I'm wearing this outfit just to get selected by the opposite sex. Mm-hmm. Like I'm getting dressed up to look good for myself. Yes. I'm getting, uh, putting makeup in my face and getting my hair and nails done, you know, nails, done, hair, everything did for myself so I can feel good about myself. And because I feel good about myself, that is when I will more than likely attract the opposite sex because I come in, I'm coming in here looking good for myself. My confidence is on 10. Fucking 10. Your, um, your confidence is on 10. You're feeling like a 10. Exactly. Which, is a, which, is, which has men attracted to you. Period. So. That's how it works. Period. That's how it works. Right? And it just so happened that when you put on that stuff and you look good, lucky, lucky for men. That right. they get to see it. Period. You're lucky you get to you lay your eyes upon me, peasant. <laughs> no, honestly. I am, like, it's just exhausting. Like, and then, and then this, like, whole idea of, like, first of all, his ideal woman was back from the 70s. Bitch, we are in 2021. Right. We're in the 21st century. Catch up, ho. I you was some, behind. Somebody said Jackie Kennedy. I don't know who that was, but... Now, you know, you Pam Greer, yes, the baddest of the 70s. Mm-hmm. Dorothy Dandridge, yes, the baddest of the 50s. And Diane Carroll? Still a bad... Oh, wait, oh, no, she you, passed away. Right. But, you, but here we are talking about women who wouldn't even look at none of them niggas either. Okay. Diane Carroll? Wouldn't look your damn way, Kevin Samuels. Don't Joe ever Budden, play yourself. And them other niggas with, Please the don't. Col- with the one with the Columbia jacket on. Like, what are you talking about? What are y'all talking... Who are you talking to? And how dare you feel so comfortable to fix your mouth to talk about women like this? I will say this. That's embarrassing. The only problem, the only thing I will say about Kevin Samuels, and somebody said this, um, I forget which podcast I was listening to, but mm-hmm. they said this, and I was like, they're not wrong. Mm-hmm. Women are literally getting on this man's platform to have him tell them what's wrong with them. That's exactly why I don't he understand got- it. You know, I, I don't was, get it. I was talking to, um, I forget who I was talking to, but we was talking about how like people feel like the reason that people go like subscribe to him and like call into his show, or whatever, they mm-hmm. feel like they're going to be the one to bring him mm-hmm. level. And it's like, you're not, you're on his platform. He has the ability to mute you, right. cut you off and then continue to spew all the bullshit or whatever he wants to about you to your face right. and to all his millions of followers. Right. So all the people who follow him and feel like they can bring this man down a notch or two, mm-hmm. like you cannot. Maybe you could if he, if he if he comes on your platform, but you don't have a platform. Who said that? I swear, I'm sitting here trying to think about who we and we were talking. I think you were with me. We were talking. We were talking to somebody about this, and I can't remember who it was. That's gonna kill me. Um, it, it's just it's really disgusting. Like it's not even the fact that like okay, and this is kind of a segue into the next one. 
And this is not even, so you have the 40 year old men that are doing this. So, you know, Roger Hunter was like, you know, 40 plus men. Mm -hmm. It's not just the 40 plus year old men, even though y'all should really, you know, like pull it together, calm down. Okay. You know what I'm saying? With your Adidas track suits and stuff. Cause that's what y'all be wearing to these young brunches. I see you. These niggas are all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see y'all. I see y'all with y'all tracksuits on. I really do. And that's cute. And that's cute because it, that's what you want to do. But now you have the younger generation, um, you know, of men, the the 25 and up or the 30 plus that is out here thinking the exact same, same thing. thing. And this, so I can't, somebody, um, I came across this podcast, um, which was very like a what? Um, called Crew Season. You niggas be having the what? audacity okay cruise season this is what they were talking about hold on one sec Ugh. first off chivalry came from queen like you treating a queen a certain way these hoes gonna be queens oh uh, i'm not with it i, I am not with it let's be real like you know you, you <laughs> elaborate elaborate, elaborate. Hey, i want to hear some real. a lot of these women don't be queens like they think they are that's all i'm saying it's just simple <laughs> like they the way they carry themselves the way they act, like all that shit. So like, you say you can't be you can't you're not, be a you're queen not, on air matches. You not a wifey material. You can't be wifey no, on air matches. No, you can't. I'm sorry, okay. baby. I'm sorry. You, you can't be queen with three roommates. You can't be queen having what? three kids with three baby daddies. Like wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like no, that's just on some real shit, wow. and that's not even disrespectful. Think about it. It is. If a woman have, <laughs> think about it. You don't tell me thirty two. Let's say she thirty two. <laughs> she thirty two. Never been married. Got yeah. three kids, but want her to take you out on a date. How are you supposed to respect that? You didn't let three niggas bust all in you that you not with. You not with none of these people. But I'm supposed to treat you different. Come on, bro. I'm supposed to come on, bro. Like you just pure. I'm supposed to treat you like you pure, and I'm coming to the situation. No kids. No kids. I got no kids. No good job. I mean, no good job. Well, I don't have a job. I'm working my goddamn self. But you know what I'm saying? Like you, you ain't got really nothing going for you. You struggling, and here I'm coming. I'm I'm supposed to be the savior. Sir, your problem is that you keep picking the wrong wrong women. So maybe you're not even a king. Because if you were, you would be attracting queens. Goodbye, clown. He's a clown. And it, like, the other, I noticed that, like, he pretty much gaslit one of them to kind of come in with him. The mm. other two was like, oh. No, you on your own, player. Yeah. <laughs> I got a mama, siblings, right. like, I don't got time for that. I have friends and all of them, regardless of their situation, how many niggas they slept with, whatever they got going on are all queens. I really wish the other two guys who was uncomfortable, like, actually would have said something. Yeah. This is like, this is always, this like falls into their whole, like, you know, when you got a, a male friend. When, yeah. When you talk about how male friends got rapey as male friends. Right. And you need to check them. This is also a, a, a perfect opportunity to check somebody who's talking crazy, you know? Like, like. For you to sit there and be like, because a woman has, you know, two or three kids by different fathers, that they should not be um, treated like a queen is ridiculous. Uh, and then I was noticing some of the other examples that he was just saying. It might have been joking like, oh, she can't be a queen with roommates or she don't have an air. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh you don't know what that person's situation is. And it's like, I'm, shout out to um, one of my Twitter, the way I found this, one of my Twitter followers, her name is Ray Ray. Right. <laughs> this shit is wild. Yeah, Ray Ray rarely there. Mm -hmm. She said his logic is stupid as hell. Child, I'ma say this one time. It depends on the person. If you feel this way, cool. But if you come in contact with a Beyonce, three kids, three baby daddies, you bending the rule. You telling us all you deal with is trash you you're you telling us all you deal with is trash woman. Whose fault is that? I just said that before you I even see that. I even see that part. That's what exactly what I'm saying. You are telling on yourself you have garbage taste in women. Which means that you probably only go for bad bitches who are broke and have a whole bunch of kids. And that ain't got nothing to do with women. That's got to do everything to do with how yourself. you choose your women, okay? Exactly. How you view yourself. You view yourself as a, as a, as a nigga who date women with three kids from three different baby days who sleep on a mattress, uh, air mattress who got three roommates. That's your own problem, homeboy. That ain't got nothing to do with women. That don't have nothing to do with women. If you hate women, just say that. Let's just start there. Yeah. Because that's what it sounds like. Like, please, for the love of God, go suck a dick if you hate women so much. Period. I'm, I, I mean, oh my God, please, free yourself. Help suck us a nigga think of something. <laughs> please, go free yourself, sir. Go free yourself. There are plenty of dicks out there. There's three sitting next to you. God. I mean, I mean, 
with you, Shaji. Be gone with it. Wait, what are you talking about? Please jump to the other side. If you hate women so much, go suck a dick and leave us alone. And stop blaming everything on women and why women don't deserve to be treated like this or why women are sexist. You hate women. Say that. Now go be gay. Because that's what you want. You don't want women. You don't want women. Because, I mean, honestly, I don't know any woman that's going to see this. Well, I shouldn't. I'm, I'm sure that there are women out there that might agree with him. But me, in our now, I don't know any woman in their right mind to be like, you know what? He got some points. Points was made. Are you going to like, so you're still, even if you're saying that you're still, you're still not, a, you're still not going to attract the right woman for you, King. Like, I mean, you, you, see, I just called you a king. I don't even know him. <laughs> I don't even know him. And I was like, you know, like, dude. We might have to tag him. We might have to tag them in this episode. Like, and it, we can do a response because we said what we said. Like, you're wrong. You are wrong, sir. You are loud and wrong. And shout out to the two to the right that was like, mm. say something. I wish that, I mean, you know, I'm going to see if they said something. I need to know, like, what, what, yeah. what the response was. Did they say something? They just was like, mm-hmm. nigga crazy. Yeah, what are you talking about? Erga, Erga. <laughs> Hit the, uh, the button to do the gunshots. Like, Say something. Yeah, like, no. come on, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That ain't got nothing to do with women. Mm-hmm. Leave us out of it. No. Shit. Who child? We told you it was heavy. Oh, we told y'all was heavy this God. week. Told y'all was heavy this week. Um, that's it, right? Um, well, we got a lip service question, but I don't know if you want to show the video. Well, we don't have to do. Oh, the video of the Jocelyn? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm... Yeah. So, I guess, yeah, it's, it's a little segue. So, for the lip service question... This clip came across the timeline. Jocelyn Hernandez has a show on Zeus. Yeah, that channel has all the ghetto programming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but sis is getting a check. And this one clip came about um, that literally had Twitter a, like ablaze. Um, and it kind of brought us to the lip service question today. So this is what it happened. Where is it? Okay, here we go. I expect you ladies to understand this. You can change your life. And you can get out of the, the gutter. Are you crying? I am. What's going on? Why are you crying? Man, it hit home for me. So come step up. Come step up. Let, let me let me hear you. What what happened? I was saying it's the gutter is a rough place, you okay. know, and you got to do everything, any and everything to make it, you know, every situation, including aborted twins. You feel me to better yourself because I do want to leave you. But you just had an abortion, twins. Twins. Mm. Yeah, double homicide. I'm sorry. That shit was crazy. Um. Um. So that led us to our lip service question. Yes, it did. Uh, and the question was, um, Mm-mm-mm. child, mm. what topics do you think should be off limits for open conversation? And the key word here is or opinion. Um, and y'all had some time. Y'all did. Y'all had a little bit of time. Cute. Um, yeah, Alexis Vanee, hey boo. She said, who I'm talking to if you're not trying to be my man. Period. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I mean. Yes. Okay. Yes, Seri- ma'am. Like, we could have a whole episode of that alone. All day. Um, E-dub underscore 1906, hey. Hey, Fred. Oh, that's um, so fresh. <laughs> <laughs> fresh did respond, though. He <laughs> did. Okay, don't... <laughs> <laughs> He's down there, my bad. Um, as a 41921, if you've been big vaccinated, big big vaccinated or not, it starts wars now. Moderna gang, ah 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 ah, Pfizer, <laughs> Pfizer cutie over here. <laughs> not a Pfizer. <laughs> Both of them shits had us down bad for a second, and so. that's really it. So they are some bad bitches. Okay? That's what I couldn't wrap my head around. She Honestly. said that. <laughs> Okay, they was like, oh. Oh, you thought you were? You think this is a game? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. That second (laughs) shot was not it. Um, (laughs) It wasn't. Girl. Uh, Bear Beauty Experience. Hey, Lana. Hey, boo. Said, let's not discuss our opinions about politics or sexuality or gender gender identity. I'm not going back and forth about it if you see me as a black gay woman living in America. Mm -hmm. I don't have the capacity to argue that my black ass life matters. Women's rights are human rights and trans women are real women. What... What we can talk about is who has the best tacos or best fries. Personally, Five Guys Cajun fries are bussing. I'm not. You're not wrong. Old Man Fresh. Hey, Fresh. Hey, Fresh. Um, what, <laughs> I got it right. What folks do with their money? Yes. Seriously. That one. Seriously. That one. Um, Survivor 630, a.k.a. my mom. Hey, Miss 
Hi, hey, mom. She said religion, politics, and sexuality. Um, D. De- Wait, what is it? What's Desir- it? Desir- Desir- Desira. She went, we went to school. Desiree? Desir- 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 Desira. Hey, boo. She, <laughs> she said, what folks do in bed and who they've been with. That's between you, the person you invite, and your sheets. Mm-hmm. Okay, period. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. I think the last one I had was, uh, oh, my grandmother. Uh-oh. My grandmother responded. Okay, so Joya said abortion, especially from a male's point of view. Mm, mm. Mm. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Um Okay, I don't know what my grandmother's talking about. What'd she say? <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> she said what? She said you are an intelligent young woman raised by the greatest grandmother ever. You're okay. Oh, it cut her response off. Okay, yeah, good. Um, I don't know what hey grandma. Hey, hey Miss Johnny. I don't know. I don't know what she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call the lady to find out. I said yeah. the N word a couple times. I'm sorry. Oh, she can be mad this episode. I know. I'm sorry, Miss Johnny May. I don't apologize. I'm not. So, I'm gonna apologize. I'm apologizing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um Girl. I don't, know, I don't know what she was talking about. I really don't. Um but anyway, okay, what time is he? <laughs> I don't want to get reprimanded no more by Miss Johnny May. Miss Johnny May, I don't want this smoke, okay? I'm really working on not saying it in words. But you see, these, these dudes be acting foolish. I mean, they really do. It is what it is. Like, <laughs> But you're right, Miss Johnny May. I'm trying not to say it no more. I'm going to try. <laughs> anyway, so what was the question? <laughs> the question was, what t- Damn it. What topics do you think should be off limits for open conversation or opinion? I think a lot of the ones that came up were really good. Mm-hmm. Gender identity, I do think, should not be up for discussion because it is different for everyone, yeah. especially when we get in terms of intersectionality, you know, mm-hmm. like black women, black trans women, et cetera, et cetera. So I do definitely, I thought that was a great one. I think, I do think with Fresh, with your money, I don't think people should be in your money. I always talk about how, like, when when B Simone put that when when B Simone put that one dollar in her account and made her a millionaire, that's when all that stuff. That's when y'all all started getting mad at her. Gavin, <laughs> Gavin included. But prior to that, y'all was all big fans. As soon as she, as soon as she put that one dollar in her account and made her a millionaire, that's when everybody had an opinion about what she did. All of a sudden, she had haters. Right, you just mad because she didn't give you nothing. Right. So I think pocket watch like when people when, when you openly let people pocket watch you. I don't think that should be up for um, a discussion. Yeah. And But I, I mean, for me, I, I don't think like most, is it about personal? Was it personal? Like personally? Like, because I, I just don't think that a lot of things should be off topic. Like, you know, because we, we talk about politics here. Yeah. You know, um, I think as long as you can have a respectful conversation. Right. Like if you start getting ignorant and stuff, then, then we, you can beat me outside. That's fine. Um. But if we can have a respectful conversation, I'm always open to you know to see people's you know different religions because I like to learn about other people's religions yeah. and cultures and whatnot. So for me, it's not so much anything else outside of that. But I think yeah. gender identity and money keep your mouth shut. Don't talk to me about it. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, sis? Um, I think I'm agreeing with you on across the board. I think every topic that was brought up, um, especially uh, what Joy was talking about, abortion from a man's point of point of view mm-hmm. um you know that that topic is um it's it's a little much it's been, and i don't know something about when i hear guys talk about it not saying that y'all don't y'all shouldn't have an opinion mm-hmm. but i just don't i just think that you should keep it to yourself mm-hmm. i really do like mm-hmm. even amongst your homeboy like just keep it to yourself because you literally don't know you don't know who you're talking to yeah you have no idea who you're talking to. You have no idea what that person might have gone through. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Both men and women. You just don't really know. So I think y'all just yeah. need to be quiet. Um, mm-hmm. Like literally, when I say keep it to yourself, like keep it right here. Mm-hmm. Don't even write it down. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I also want to say somebody's weight. Yes, that is a good one. That's a good one. Yes, sis. Yeah. Yes. I, I think some. I think people's weight should not be up for discussion. Um if you know if if somebody is happy with the way that they look big or small mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I don't really think it should be open to conversation. Like, you know, I've seen people, especially, and I, really, especially in black households, it's like, you know, yeah, you got to stop eating because I'm going to eat because I'm hungry. <clears throat> okay. I love the fact that there's so many women out here that is out here wearing these two piece bikinis and these skin tight clothes mm-hmm. and they are size 18 and mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Wear it. Wear it proud. Love it for you. Because if your weight is a part of who you are and if you're happy and you think you're sexy and, and you know what I'm saying? Yes. Period. I love so it. So I don't really think that should be a topic. That should not be, um, <clears throat> that shouldn't be open discussion. Mind your business. Mind your damn business. Okay. Because what I eat don't make you fat. So mind your business. My mom. Oh, here's another one. My mom say, what I eat don't make you shit. Or what you, yeah. what you eat don't make me shit. Yeah. That's another old, it don't old, old person you. singing. So yeah. Period. So yeah. Yes. I wanna know what my grandmother was talking about. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I'm gonna call her. Like, like what are you, what are you talking well, about? Well, when she sees this episode, she's gonna call you. <sighs> <laughs> that is all we have for this week's episode. Um, nobody left us a new review, so you know what that means. It's time for me to get in your ass. Why, get the review. <laughs> why haven't no one left the review this week? You know, what are y'all doing? Is it Uchi Wally or is it what Mike? You know, what, do you do you like us? Do you enjoy us? We see you subscribing to the YouTube yes. channel, which we love. You know, subscribe and then just, you know, listen, you know, we know you're doing it on your phone, okay? You can you're doing it while you're at work. While you're at work, bullshit. Why don't you bullshit your way to our a review section and leave a five star review? Yeah. Yeah, do that. Um Very simple. <laughs> thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. We are on Spotify. Wait, no. Mm-hmm. Check out all of our social media. Yes. We're on Twitter at Head Rap Pod. We're on Instagram at Head Raps and Lipsticks. Check out our Facebook page, Head Raps and Lipsticks, the podcast. Or you can go to our website and listen to all of the episodes. Or you can get crew necks and t-shirts that are for sale but not on sale at right. www.headwrapsandlipsticks.com. Um, we are on Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Our Heart Radio, and YouTube. Um, Oh, yeah. We're trying to, we're trying to uh, open up our studio. So, GoFundMe link is in the description below. Right. If you don't want to do GoFundMe, you can send us Cash App. Uh, my Cash App is dollar sign head rep pod. Whatever you do, make sure you subscribe, rate, and review. Leave five stars. You leave five stars. We read it on the air. Giveaway is coming up soon. Ooh. Five years. Five years, y'all. It's not a game. You think it's a game? We take this for we take this very seriously. We does this. We got a oh, we got a thousand plus followers on TikTok. Hey. 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 Ah, what's up? Yes, and a lot of y'all are coming from over there from from TikTok to here. Yes, to YouTube. So we very much are greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Every follower counts. Every person means something to us. We seriously. do not take this, we do not take you guys for granted. We really, really do appreciate it. Love it. We love all y'all for sure. We love all. Oh, y'all. All right, sis. Okay. Go on with your jokes. So I got two jokes. Oh, my God. Okay, I feel like last week's joke was kind of like, hmm, man. Um, because we're kind of wrapping up uh, National Humor Month. I have two jokes. And they were actually sent to me by some of our listeners. So What the fuck is happening? Yo. Okay, so the first one. Here we go. Oh, my God. Wait, hold up. I hope you're ready. That's not it. Uh-huh. I have a joke. It's legendary. I hope you're ready. What did the sun do to Bobby and Keith? It made Bobby Brown and Keith sweat. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. I have a joke. Who sent that? Thank you, Jasmine and Samitra. Love y'all. Thank you so, so, so much. I thought that was really cute. I thought it, it was funny. I thought, oh no, it was so funny. And then the other one, okay. What did Tennessee? Wait, what? What did Tennessee? I don't know. The same thing, Arkansas. Arkansas. Wait, what? What did Tennessee? Okay. The same thing, Arkansas. <laughs> Thank you, Charles, for sending that in. (laughs) I talked to Charles before I got here. (laughs) Thank you, Charles. Charles, don't you call me for a month. I'm shocked you didn't. He said he didn't even send in the DM. He put it right in the timeline, added me and everything. No, I didn't see it. 
Yo. Charles, you're done for in these streets. <laughs> don't call me ever again. Don't call me for a month. I don't want to talk to Damn, you. Damn, don't do Charles like that. No, no, no. Charles don't do me like that. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> oh, shit. That is so funny. Thank you guys so much for listening. <laughs> it's not that damn funny. I am upset. I'm living. Oh, guys. We'll funny. see y'all next week. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, Arkansas, no, I got it. Tennessee. I got it. It was garbage. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. They both sucked. <laughs> I'm annoyed. <laughs>